Hey what's up people welcome back today to another video in this video guys we're gonna be playing some more flight simulator X um so um as you guys can see I'm on a Boeing 737 um with the Singapore Airlines delivery I don't even know why um yeah but it's all right anyways um this video is going to be teaching you guys how to fly an ILS approach, right? An instrument landing system approach. So, um, there are a couple of key things to take note first things first. Okay, um, you want to have your course set. So, the course is your runway heading, the runway that you're going to be landing at. So, my set to the runway heading. So, I'm landing on runway 2 left. On in, in Singapore Changi Airport, so that's heading zero to three. Um, and let me just and um, the best it, appro uh, approach altitude is about two thousand five hundred. So, uh, and this is the approach button. Um, uh, um, so yeah, I just pre uh, activated it so that I'll be on to approach. And I think I'm. It was, it's pretty just nice. Okay. Anyways. Um, the next thing is you want to make sure you have your approach frequency set. So um, this is your navigation um, but um panel, right? Um, my uh runway um uh, ILS frequency is one one zero decimal nine. Um, you can always check it in your map. Um, not GPS but map. Okay, you need to check it on your map. You can get this panel by pressing Shift two. All right. So um, yeah. That is pretty much it. Right now, you can just start setting flaps and um gear. So I'm going to go all the way down to full flaps actually, cause um yeah. Oh, I actually, I think I actually um activated my approach a little too late, cause right now I need to um yeah I'm flying back towards where I start off. So yeah, I selected my approach a little too late. So as you guys can see, um yeah, and I'm you I have my speed brakes armed so that when I land, once I land on ground, uh my speed brakes will uh come up. Alright, so that'll be that's it I guess. So yeah, and we just now have, we now just have to wait for the aircraft to land on the runway by itself, and also keep in mind when reaching the runway, um, uh, the last few hundred feet, you want to disconnect your auto throttle if you are doing um, the full stop and landing, cause if you do not disconnect your auto throttle. You'll just continue spinning off the runway, cause your auto throttle will keep you will want to keep you on that speed. So no matter how much brakes you put or how much um speed brake out, you will never be able to stop on the runway. So that is important. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, another thing. My flight director must be on. GPS nav switch must be on nav mode. Okay, um, I think I just um, I I think I've covered everything you need to know about an ILS approach. Um, so I guess that's it. So we just now have to um wait for the aircraft to slowly. Um, get to the runway. So we are doing a one seventy knot um approach. So let's just um pause and the recording right now, and I will start when oh uh, where um towards landing. Yeah. Alright, so we are now down to our last few hundred feet 
um, and we are holding steady 171 knots so um, from here I'm just going to disconnect my other throttle and um, keep my throttle at zero um, and yeah all right we have landed full um, thrust reversers and full brakes all right and of course speed brakes as well and yep we have landed so that is how you do a um, ILS approach thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video Bye!